good afternoon all of you in the previous lecture i had discussed about the synthetic application of enamine i have discussed two application of enamine first one is alkylation of enamine and second one is acylation of enamine in the is dark in a mind reaction okay so today i am going to explain the third application of in a mind is the michael reaction of okay so this is this is the third application of enamine okay in michael reaction enamine is treated with alpha beta unsaturated compound okay and we will get the dicarbon compound so the third application is formation of dicarbonic compound or michael reaction formation of dicarbonic compound or michael reaction this is the third application of enamine okay so in michael reaction enamine is treated with alpha beta unsaturated compound in the presence of water to use dicarbonic compound okay so look here this is one position second position third position fourth position and fifth position okay so this is the one five dicarbonic shows michael reaction in michael reaction enamine is treated with alpha beta unsaturated compound this is the alpha beta unsaturated compound look here this is our functional group and this position is alpha position and this position is beta position so this is the alpha beta and the unsaturation present only so it is called as alpha beta unsaturated compound in presence of water to use one five dicarbon compound okay so this is the general reaction of michael reaction general representation of michael reaction okay now i am going to explain the mechanism basically the mechanism of reaction is have three steps in the first step enamine is formed now the enamine is formed by the reaction of cyclic ketone with secondary amine okay now the second step of reaction mechanism is the nucleophilic attack of alpha beta unsaturated compound so in the first step enamine is generated and this enamine undergoes delocalization to form a iminium ion iminium and act as a nucleophile and it attack on a second step as a nucleophile so the second step of reaction mechanism is nucleophilic attack of iminium and on alpha beta unsaturated compound and we will get in the second step intermediate and the third step of reaction mechanism is 
द रिफॉर्म ऑफ कार्बोनिक कंपाउंड ओके तो दीज आर द थ्री स्टेप ऑफ रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ माइकल रिएक्शन ओके माइकल रिएक्शन है थ्री स्टेप्स ओके वी विल सी वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑफ रिएक्शन मैकेनिज्म ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इनामोनियम secondary amine in presence of para 12 in sulfonic acid okay so here i am taken cyclohexanol as a cyclic ketone okay it react to with secondary amine then here i am taken piperidine okay piperidine is a secondary amine okay both reactant react to each other in presence of para 12 in sulfonic acid and we will get enamine we know the mechanism of formation of enamine so here i am directly generated enamine okay so this is the enamine so the first step of my the reaction preparation is formation of enamine okay now the second step of reaction mechanism is nucleophilic attack of attack of iminium ion on alpha beta unsaturated compound okay look here in the first step the amine is generated by the reaction of cyclic ketone with secondary amine in presence of para 12 in sulfuric acid so this enamine is undergoes conjugation to form a conjugated product Look here, the lone pair of nitrogen is conjugated with this pi bond, so the lone pair is delocalized with this pi bond, and we will get iminium ion. Okay, this is the conjugated product. Okay, this iminium ion attack as a nucleophile in alpha beta and settle to this compound in the second step. So here. I am write the iminium ion. Okay, this is the structure of iminium ion. This iminium ion act as a alpha beta unsaturated compound. So this is the alpha beta unsaturated compound. This new ne negative charge of carbon is attracted on this carbon atom. Simultaneously, the pi bond shifted here, and this pi bond shifted towards the oxygen, and we will get this type of intermediate. Here, this carbon bonded with this carbon. Okay, one bond will be generated. Then this bond, this pi bond shifted towards this. And here oxygen O negative, and here one negative group will be present. So we will generate this type of intermediate by the attack of iminium and with second alpha beta and saturated compound. Further, this negative charge of oxygen shifted towards the carbon and oxygen. In between carbon and oxygen, simultaneously this pi bond shifted towards the this carbon atom, and we will. Get this type of intermediate. So this pi bond 
should get two or three carbon atoms, so this carbon become a negative charge species. Okay. After the formation of this intermediate, this intermediate undergoes hydrolysis. Okay. OH negative exponent. Okay. Water molecule undergoes pregnant to form a OH negative and H positive. So these negative charge carbon attract one proton and stabilize their negative charge. So we will get this type of intermediate. Michael reaction and Michael reaction 
not the third application of enamel. Okay, these are the three steps of reaction mechanism. First step is formation of ammonium ion or enamel. In the second step, generate an ammonium ion act as a nucleophile and attack on alpha beta and saturated compound to form a this type of intermediate. In the third step, reform the carbonyl compound. This intermediate undergoes hydrolysis to form a one five dicarbonyl compound. Okay, this is all about the mechanism of cycle reaction. Okay, for the better understanding, I am taking another example. Example. This type of intermediate will be generated here. Further, this intermediate have a negative charge of oxygen, so negative charge shifted in between carbon and oxygen, and this pi bond shifted towards this carbon atom. Okay, so we will get another intermediate. Okay, here load of oxygen has a 
attack on this carbon atom simultaneously is by about shifted toward the nitrogen and nitrogen supplies their positive charge and we will get this type of product Okay.